Hey everyone, I, this is a piece of the fabric that I cut to a shape of a diaper. This is the shape that I use. But this was the first diaper, and I actually made another one, but I made it a little bit wider. Because basically when I made this one, I did 6 inches going this way and then 12 inches going this way. And when I went to put it on her... And I pinned it on her. It was just looking all awkward. So I, I realized I need to make it a little wider. So I'm not going to waste this piece. I'm just going to use it as a burp cloth. But I did. Instead of doing. Six inches this way. I did seven. And then I still did 12 going that way. And that was for the diaper that she has on now. And it's really nice. I like it. Because it's reusable. I don't have to, you know. And I got about two yards of fabric. So the rest is back in my room. Yeah, but I have... One of my aides coming here today, so I said, I'll probably, I'm going to make more of these diapers once she, um, you know, leaves and everything. I'll take the fabric back out and make some more. But I'm going to, because it's like, I don't have to worry about running out of diapers, um, and and I was also thinking about making wipes with this material too because it's basically a fleece the fleece material and I chose this type of fabric because it's soft I was gonna get some regular fabric to kind of double it up to you know I was gonna what I would have did was I would have cut the same shape out with the regular fabric and then I would have laid that fabric on top and then I would have stitched it all around. So then the side, so it would have been like two sided kind of. So this side would have been the outside and then the other fabric would have been on the inside. This would be my outer fabric and would be the inner fabric. But it's okay. Like, if you just have a reborn or a silicone doll, and unless you have one of those silicone dolls that drinks your wet, you don't have to worry about making them absorbent or waterproof because they're not. You're not actually going to be feeding them. And they're not actually going to. To wet themselves. So. Or poop either. So. And this is great because. I just have. I can just put one on her. And then I can put. Two in a diaper bag. And I'll probably make. So, I'm going to make like three, two more for her, and then three for the new baby that I plan to order. Well, hopefully, probably won't be sometime next year because, as hopefully, I can save up the money as soon as possible, but. And then I was thinking, okay, like when I was in the pre, started the pre vote program, they said we were supposed to get $2 a week. So I was thinking, okay, that $2 a week could go towards him, could go towards the new doll that I want to get. That plus whatever I could put aside every month for my check. So... But that, 
So far, this is my fifth week or in the kitchen, and so far, I don't know if they're going to just pay everybody when they do decide to start paying us, if they're going to pay us from this week. In the last five weeks. If we're still going to get paid for these weeks. I don't know. Even though it's just volunteer work. They're going to give us two dollars a week. Um, and it's kind of less stressful. Than a regular job. No, I wish I was actually working there. Like, I don't think I have my tape measure. I use the regular ruler when I did it. I could have used my tape measure. So, I'm going to use my tape measure because and I just have to get something to write it down, what I did. Okay, I will put a line going this way, 12 inches, and then a line going this way and put 7 inches. That's the diapers and so not all the fabric's going to be diapers. Like I'm just gonna make like a total of six to start off with and then I'm going to probably make a couple wipes. Yeah. Out of the fabric as well. Like, I mean, this one was too small, so I'm just, just, it was t not wide enough, so, it was long enough, but not wide enough, so, I'm just going to use it as a burp cloth, so nothing gets wasted. And then... Like, there's a lot of things that I would still, like, once I do order the new baby, what I would need for him to make a list. Okay, I still need to get him some pacifiers so I can modify them. And he also, he has a pacifier clip, which I bought. Um, he needs some socks. He needs a bib. Which I might make two bibs out of the fabric too, so. I might just use the bib that I bought for her as a template and then just make them two white bibs. He has a formula dispenser. He has three bottles. So he doesn't need that. He needs clothes. Because I have no baby boy clothes. And. Okay. What else? Diapers I don't have to worry about. Wipes I don't have to worry about. He has a white case. Uh, he has a spray bottle. I've sp um, that's pretty much it. And hopefully the box, the bed 
box that I made a bed out of is big enough for both of them. Because it's pretty gender neutral. The way I made it. And. Yeah. That's pretty much. And I also heard of. Some people use it coffee cream as formula. I've tried that but. To me, I don't think there's any different than using dry milk. Except for you would probably need less of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which I think the coffee cream might be better because... You could also drink it if you want. It's really good. I'm trying. See video based on it. I don't want to make this video too long because it is four thirty eight. Uh the people that work in the office. Most likely are long because they leave half hour early. Between now and August. From now until the end of August, they're going to be leaving an hour early. So, not an hour early, half hour early. Why did I say an hour? Um, so, I'm going to get off the phone and let you guys go, but thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe, and I'll let you know. When I make the bib, how it comes out. You know, just throwing ideas out there. And if you want to know exactly how I made this diaper, I'll probably make a video. After this, showing you guys how I did it. So, stay tuned for that video. That will be I will be making that video sometime later and uploading it afterwards. So, thanks for watching. Bye.